Hey guys, it's Jonathan here. Um, I'm just going to make a quick little video on setting up these guys. Um, they get them prepared. Basically what we got is our little sandwich container. Um, you can buy these at like Dollar General, Walmart, Target, places like that. Um, the Tupperware container section, you want to pre-drill some holes in the sides. Pre-drill some holes in the sides. Um, what I do is I take paper towels, cut them in half. I get the half sheets. Bounty, you never want to use printed paper towels. You get the ones that are partial half sheets or whatnot. You don't want to rip them in half. Paper towel rolls, smash them flat. Once you get them smashed flat, then you take and you cut them into sections of three, and then cut them in half down the creases. And then what you're going to have there is you're going to have these just little pieces of paper towel roll. Toilet paper rolls work too. Um, then you just kind of want to bend it back a little bit. That gives your corn snake a little hide. Very, very cheap. When you're done, you're going to have your container set up with your paper towel on the bottom. You have the paper towel roll. I always throw them to the right side. I label my, uh, my containers with the mother of the snake's name and the number of the snake that goes in the container. Once the snake gets this container, it's going to keep that number. On my feeding records, it's going to be, like these are going to be Mika number 1 through 16. Then I know when I'm feeding which snake has eaten and which one hasn't. I don't pick out certain snakes for certain numbers, whichever one goes in. First, usually the first one to hatch is number 1 and the, the last one I grab is going to be number 16. Since I'm weird, I always put the little tab on the one side. Number 11 will go right on top of 10. Actually, we'll start another stack. And then I'll just go right on through. Next snake, container, snake, lid. You want to be very careful that you're not pinching your snake that you're putting the lids on. Um, sometimes they move very quick and they can get in there. Now, once you're done setting all of them up, you're going to want to go back through and add a water dish. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean afterwards here. So, as you see, I, I'm pretty quick at doing this. I've done many, many eggs that have hatched, or many, many snakes that have hatched, I've set up like this. Um, after a couple feedings, they'll move to bigger enclosures. These little boxes are very easy to, to clean, very easy to work with. And, uh, Looks like I've got an extra snake. Okay, we've got one snake that hasn't hatched yet. I'm wondering where the other snake was. I don't know if you can see this, guys. We've got one snake here. It's still in the egg. Um, it is alive. It is moving. Okay. So we'll just leave that in there. We'll let that, that snake come out on its own. Empty eggs. And they are really pretty. The first couple that hatched, hatched out really orange. And I'm looking at them like, man, they look a lot like creamsicles. And then as they, you know, a couple hours go by, they started, the orange started going really red. So, uh, my guess is these are just going to be some really pretty albinos. Um, we will have these available at the next reptile show we do. Um, which will probably be Daytona, or not Daytona. I'm going to go to Daytona. Um, hopefully, maybe, if things work out right. Um, but the next reptile show I do may be in September or October, which will be uh, Orlando. Um, if we make it to Orlando, that'll be the next one. If not, it's going to be the Tampa Reptile Show in November. Let's see, this is some stuff that we had hatch out from another clutch that I've already set up. These are just some normal stuff. Let me adjust this camera here so I can see what I'm doing. First time I've used a tripod, guys, so bear with me. Um, just some normal pairings that I had. Um, we're going to work on making some banded corns. Let's see if this one's got any of the marks. I'm not seeing any on this one. Some of them, uh, the saddles actually band all the way around the snake. 
So we'll go through and we'll pick out a few and we'll hold back. And we'll continue to green them off to other stuff that we've produced with bands. Hopefully we'll get some banded corn snakes in the future. Um, here's some stuff that we actually got. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anatheristic or black corn. Just ate a pinky. see the pinky there but you don't want to stress him out too much because he did just eat about an hour ago there we go these little containers work really well on getting them to, to, to start feeding so if you ever have a, if you ever hatch snakes out and you have problems getting them to feed leave the pinky in overnight they usually take it without a problem um, within the next couple weeks this table is actually going to be completely full see if I can pan up on it a little bit of these containers um, literally I'll have hundreds of these things full of snakes so that just means we're having a good season uh, we did pretty good at the show not as good as I'd like to have done we did bring too many animals home as you've seen earlier my baby rack is still full um, we got a lot more eggs hatching um, the ball pythons are doing good. Uh, we did sell one of the babies that hatched out. Um, I've got some of the other ones sold. I did trade the Mojave for a uh, black pastel, so we're going to be working with that morph in the future. And, uh, what we're going to do now... Let's see, what is this? Okay, this one's empty. We've got one egg to hatch yet. We're going to put this back over on the warm side of the room. Bear with me guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, now what we're going to do is... Shit, I left it over there. Bear with me one more time. take these little containers here and I'll fill these with water and they'll set right up inside the cages here. About halfway full. I'm not going to do all these on film but I am going to set one up just to show you guys how I set them up. So this is our setup for the hatchling horns. I don't know if you can see that without me spilling the water. Water dish, paper towel, part of a paper towel roll, snake, sandwich container, pre-drilled holes, good to go. Now all we need is for that thing to shed and we'll start feeding it. Make it end up in a terrarium at your house. Um, I will never sell a snake that does not feed for me because if it's not feeding for me, Chances are it's not going to feed for you. Anything you ever get from me at a show will be well fed, well started, um, guaranteed feeding, frozen and thawed. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a quick little peek at some of the stuff I got going on. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.